In this video you will see an elephant spit on me, some really really green water, and a man that says So this is definitely a five lane traffic in the three lane road. We just got into Intermural. It's a historical center um, built by Spanish in uh, 1651 I believe. So it's uh, survived World War II that uh, happened on these grounds and uh, it's uh, quite a bit of history around. So we just got into St. Augustine Church. The church has been here for 444 years. Father Andres Hutaneta, born in uh, Villafranca in Spain, captain in the wars in Flanders and in Italy, joined uh, Magellan's expedition, Research Navigator of the World, retired, but by invitation of the king, uh, proceeded to uh, Mexico, and then invited by the king to there to return to the conquest of the Philippines. And he served as first abbot in these islands until 1563. Returned to Mexico and died there in 1568. I wish I knew Spanish. The galleon Nestor Sonora del Pilar. The number of vessels which were operating during the Manila-Acapulco trade between 1565 and 1815 were 108. Three of those galleons carried the name of Nestra Sinora del Pilar de los Zaragoza. Two of them sank, one in the southern coast of Guam in 1690 and the other not far from Manila Bay in 1750. The British Commodore George Anson tried to capture the third one, but the vessel arrived safety in Acapulco on January 9, 1742. In this 18th century retablo, St. Nicholas of Tolentino invites the Augustinian friars to look at the afterlife. This altar was reconstructed here in 1976 by Luis Araneta with the original 18th century carvings of Santos that he saves from several places. Here the Archangel Raphael is venerated as an angel healer who accompanies people in their travels. The uh, British used to make a famously unstable car called Reliant Robin. Uh, well, it had uh, one wheel on the front, two in the back and tipped over in every corner almost as it uh, went into turns. So I'm uh, really surprised to see the same ones here, electric ones, same style though. Fort Santiago, one of the oldest fortifications in Manila, built in 1571 on the site of the native settlement of Raja Sonimo. First the fort was the palisaded structure of logs and earth, destroyed in the Limahong attack in 1574. Stone fort built between 1589 and 1592, damaged in the 1645 earthquake, repaired and strengthened in 1658 to 1663, became the headquarters of the British Occupation Army in 1762 to 1764, repaired and renovated again in 1778. Occupied by Japanese military in 1942, where hundreds of civilians and guerrillas were imprisoned, tortured, and executed. Destroyed in the Battle of Manila in 1945. Used as depot of U.S. Transportation Corps before turnover to Philippine government in 1946. Declared a shrine of freedom in 1950. Restoration and maintenance of the fort became in 1951 under the National Park Development Committee. Management was turned over to in Tramuros administration in 1992. We're in the store Illustrado and it's uh, really full of different artifacts almost. It's a uh, really cheap prices if you change it to American dollars. The uh, variety of stuff that's here is amazing. Anything from furniture to carvings to different trinkets, pottery, Jewelry. It's 
So I can't believe this, but this day bed is 44 bucks. It's... Can I take it home? <laughs> so one of the sculptures is uh, quite dear to everybody's uh, heart, to be honest. And it's called Consequences. As you can see, it has liver failure, lung cancer, kidney failure, broken family, car crash, rape, death, murder, damaged reputation. <laughs> yeah, serious stuff. This is a monument of Jose Rizal called Motostella. It was constructed in 1912 and remains of Rizal were tra transferred there in 1913. It was declared national monument and later on national cultural treasure in 2013. Manila Zoo and Gardens. Uh, it uh, gets fairly bad ratings because of the conditions that the animals are in or wild here. But um, every admission goes on support of those animals, so we went there anyway and uh, tried to see what it's all about. So that elephant totally just spit on us and I'm covered in his uh, saliva. Yeah, pleasant. So these are Malayan box turtles and this one is actually laying eggs right now. It's incredible. Oh dear. What are you doing? <laughs> Sad to see this place being so run down. I don't think I've ever seen this animal, but this is Kwati. They're found mainly in these areas of Sonora and Chihuahua of Southern Arizona. This guy is so hot right now. So hot. Haban bear cat. So cool. Not sure if you can uh, properly see all the water here, but uh, it's full of fish, but the fish is all the way on the surface and uh, can't breathe. I never heard them make that noise. So Philippines, I really don't want to upset anybody here, but uh, it smells like sewer a lot, <laughs> everywhere. Sewer and piss, and like every street. You see struggle, struggle everywhere. You can see people on the street sleep, sleeping. They're sleeping in their uh, cabbies and little bicycle uh, pedicabs, maybe. Uh, and uh, then giving tourists rides in those in the morning. Poor kids on the street begging for empty bottles, even. But uh, it's, uh, it's kind of different culture. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see some of the Kuala Lumpur travels.